So you've watched my previous video on how to build a Dark Academia wardrobe and gathered all your Dark Academia basics, but now your outfits are starting to look a little bland. Well, I'm Professor Mariel and today I'm back for you more advanced students to teach you how to elevate your Dark Academia outfits. If you did watch my previous video on how to build a Dark Academia wardrobe and you still haven't subscribed yet, then I'll give you one more chance to scroll down below and click that subscribe button before I take it as a personal attack and declare war on you. And if you want even more fashion inspiration or to just keep up with me in between videos, then follow me on Instagram at The Dress Relief. Let's get started. So a little recap for my first video, I talked about some Dark Academia basics, which I feel like is a good start for a Dark Academia wardrobe. So things like a turtleneck, a button-down shirt, a coat, some trousers in a neutral color, a sweater, cardigan, and of course some Dark Academia shoes. But if you want to take your Dark Academia outfits to the next level, there's even more pieces that you can get. For example, you can get pinafore dresses, uh, plaid skirts or dresses, or plaid trousers. You can also get some fancier blouses, which I'll touch more on later, or some pleated skirts. If you're into that. Another thing you do is get more of the basics but in more colors. So in my previous video I talked about getting them in neutral colors like blacks, browns, beiges, whites, but you can also get some like burgundy colors or dark gem tones like dark emerald green or navy blue. So you don't have to limit yourself to those boring neutral colors. You can also spice it up by putting some more color in your wardrobe. Now onto some tips for elevating your dark academia outfits. My first tip is to try wearing some extra fancier blouses, maybe inspired by the Victorian or Edwardian eras. So I love looking at frilly, ruffly blouses inspired by the Edwardian and Victorian eras. So I think one way to spice up your Dark Academia wardrobe would be to go for one of those style blouses. And they're pretty popular right now. I see a lot of like fancy collared blouses and ruffly blouses, so I think it'll be pretty easy to find right now. You can also play around with the sleeves, like puff sleeves or those like trumpet hem sleeves, I think is what they're called, and just go for those really vintage-y, almost royal core-esque vibes, um, and I think that'll really like make your outfit look a little more extra and spice things up. Or even going for some Victorian or Edwardian elements just in general could really help give you some vintage -er, um academia vibes, so for example, maybe doing an Edwardian hairstyle. Another tip would be to focus more on Dark Academia accessories, which I feel like is something I could definitely do more because I have the basics down, I feel like, but I don't really go for accessories that much, even just in my general wardrobe. I, I always forget about accessories. So you can expand your Dark Academia purse collection. I feel like a brown or black purse goes with pretty much anything, but if you want more of a Dark Academia vibe, you could go for a satchel style purse or something with like a plaid pattern on it maybe and um, basically anything vintage-y. I feel like older vintage pieces um, typically go well with Dark Academia. You can also go for more hair accessories. Um, ribbons, I feel like, always make a Dark Academia hairstyle just a little extra and cute. So you can get ribbons in like a burgundy or dark green, navy blue, or just any neutral color. And you can also play around with like the ribbon fabric, like maybe a velvet ribbon. And then there's also headbands. So you can get a plaid headband or a neutral colored headband or other accessories like vintage style barrettes or hairpins and even just playing around with your hairstyles more so I have a couple videos on dark academia hairstyles if you do want to play around with your hair more another accessory could be suspenders which I've been kind of avoiding because it reminds me of like that 2009 era where people would wear suspenders and bow ties but I have some pictures on my Pinterest board with suspenders and I really like the look so I might go for some. And of course Dark Academia jewelry so vintage inspired jewelry, lockets, um, kind of baroque almost costumey style jewelry I feel like would fit the Dark Academia style well and yeah I think there's a lot you can do with accessories. Mm -hmm. 
another tip would be to play around with layering. So maybe layering a turtleneck under a button-down shirt or under a pinafore dress. Or investing in layering pieces like a vest and layering that over button-down shirts or over dresses or maybe getting a corset belt or something like that. Or wearing multiple shirts over each other or multiple outerwear pieces. Maybe you can wear a sweater and then a another jacket over it or a coat or something like that. I think there's a lot you can do with layering. I feel like layering just almost always adds a little extra something to an outfit. Another tip would be to go for some extra dark academia statement pieces. So for example, I have a pair of loafers that are a platform loafers. The heels are super high and it kind of like plays into that Bratz platform trend that's going on right now, um, but it also because it's a loafer, it looks a little bit dark academia-esque. I also just bought a pair of platform oxfords as well. So as you can see, I really like my statement shoes. But you can also go for some statement jewelry or statement accessories or something like that. Or even with the clothing pieces themselves, you can find a statement coat. Maybe like a plaid or pattern coat. And I think like a plaid coat would still fit the dark academia aesthetic, but it'll be a little extra, a little more interesting to the eye. Another thing you could do is play around with different types of fabric. For example, corduroy or tweed could still fit the dark academia aesthetic. You can probably find a lot of skirts in tweed or a blazer or some pants in corduroy. And it's just a little extra small detail that maybe people might not notice at first, but it just gives off a little bit of a different vibe. Like corduroy kind of gives off some 70s vibes for me and tweed gives me like Chanel preppy vibes. So it's just like another aspect to the dark academia aesthetic. Um, you can go for a more preppy dark academia aesthetic or, you know, more like 70s-ish aesthetic, I guess. Or you can play around with like lace, silk, velvet, or satin for a more romantic academia vibe. I think fabric content is something that's often overlooked but can actually like really change up the vibe of an outfit. Finally, my last tip is to mix aesthetics. If you're getting bored with dark academia, why not bring in elements from other aesthetics? One example I always use is cottagecore, and I just did a dark cottagecore lookbook, so mixing a little bit of cottagecore elements into dark academia. Or maybe you want a more edgier academia look, and you can take some elements from grunge or goth and put that into an academia look, so you get some like goth academia or grunge academia. I feel like there's a lot you can do there if you open up your mind to some other aesthetics. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, or TikTok already. I do these reels slash TikToks where I wear different types of academia outfits. So if you want some inspiration, check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and follow me on Instagram at The Dress Relief and TikTok at Dress Relief. And I'll see you guys next time.